Hey everyone. All right, I wish we could have gone somewhere for spring break this year, but sometimes it's just not in the cards. Not to mention that it is usually really expensive and out of the budget for a lot of families. So I thought, why not put together an amazing list of things that are cheap and free that you can do with your kids during spring break. So that's what this video is all about. Don't forget to keep your eyes and ears open because there's a giveaway hidden somewhere in this video. All right, let's get started. All right, before we get started, if you're brand new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my money saving tips. Just click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you get notified when a new video goes live. All right, I'm gonna tick through these pretty fast unless there needs to be some sort of explanation because we wanna get through them quickly. So here we go. Go to a dollar movie or a matinee. You might even have theaters in your area that are gonna do some sort of discount or special for spring break week. Some movie theaters have special deals or kids movie deals on Tuesdays. Tuesdays are the least busy days of the week, so you might be able to get an extra deal on those days. So check the website or social media pages of your movie theater. Go do a park tour. If you guys don't know what this is, basically you go to parks that you've never been to before around your area um, and do a tour. Spend the whole day going to different parks. If you check online, you will find some super cool, amazing parks you did not know about. Um, just today I found one that was Wild West themed and is only about 10 minutes away from my house and I had no idea. How cool would that be to take your kids to that? So check online and do a park tour. You guys can add in like picnic stuff or snacks, but take your kids to parks they've never been to before so they're really excited to go to them. Try a restaurant you've never tried before. There are actually roulette or restaurant roulette apps. I don't know if you guys have tried those before. You can find them on your iPhone or on your Android phone. Just search for a restaurant roulette. You can enter in your price range. You can enter in what kind of food you want and then you spin the wheel and it will tell you what restaurant to go to. It's kind of fun and it can be a little adventurous if you guys are looking to try something new. Go to an indoor trampoline park with this tip and a bunch of the tips I'm sharing with you guys make sure you check their websites and their social media pages for coupons um, just today we went and did an indoor trampoline park and there was a two dollar off coupon on their website that I was able to get off of each admission so it did save us money and then we can put that money towards other things we want to do during spring break go to Costco and see what discounted gift cards they have they change all of the time and they're gonna be specific for your area and your state so there might be some really cool activities that have gift cards there that are discounted camp in your backyard overnight. This is something we did as kids growing up and it was so fun. You don't have to go anywhere. You can kind of have your own little campground experience in your backyard. It's really easy to do and it doesn't cost any money. Go on a bike ride as a family. Create a scavenger hunt for your kids. You guys can do this in the neighborhood. You can do it at a park. You can do it at the grocery store if you have to get some grocery shopping done. Hint, hint. <laughs> Go do a candy factory tour. A lot of the times, if you have any of these in your area, they are either free or super cheap, like a couple bucks, and they usually give you free samples at the end of the tour. Go to an aquarium. Go to the pool. If it is not warm where you live, go to an indoor city rec center or something like that. Usually admission's only a couple bucks. Do a readathon with your kids. I don't know if you remember these from your childhood, but you can recreate the same thing you did at school at home, get tons of candy, tons of snacks, get some books from the library, and have a day we read all day long. This is also really fun for mom because because mom gets time to actually read the book she wants while the kids are reading their books and it's educational. Build an indoor fort, make some popcorn and watch a movie. Have a picnic at a park, a lake or a campground site. Go to your natural history museum. Sometimes admission can be free or sometimes you'll have museums in your area where admission is free all the time. So check online and see what you have in your area. Go to the zoo. Take your kids to the dollar store and let them pick out a few activities that gives mommy a break and gives them something that they can do all by themselves. Whether it's coloring, some crossword puzzles or anything like that that you typically can find at a dollar store. Take tracks or your public train system to all the destinations you want to go to that day. It kind of makes it a little bit more fun for your kids that they get to be on the train. Check Groupon. Guys, this is a really good one. Check Groupon to see what kind of deals or discounts they have for activities. You can actually filter it to show activities for kids and see what's discounted in your area. For example, right now for Utah, there's a 365 Connect Pass, which gives you like admission to the zoo, to a bunch of museums, to the children's museum, a bunch of places. It is highly discounted and you can use all those things all week long so you get admission to all these great places for a deeply discounted price. So if you're in Utah, I'll link you guys to that below in the YouTube description, but look on Groupon for your own cities and see what's available. Go do laser tag. Make a schedule with other moms and each of you take a block of time watching all the kids or doing something fun with all the kids. So maybe one mom has all the kids for two to three hours and then you switch to another mom. That way, all of the moms get a break. They still have times for errands or any appointments that they might need to go to, but 
Um, you still get to do something fun with all the kids instead of just doing them for your own kids. I think it's a really fun idea and actually something I kind of want to do this year. All right, now that we're halfway through the video, it's time to do a secret giveaway that I'm just going to mention to you guys. Nothing's going to pop up. I'm just going to tell you. So if you've watched the video this far, you guys get to get entered into a giveaway. Comment below and share one thing or one idea that you guys have for spring break that you could do with your kids. That way we'll have a huge ginormous list that all of us moms can look at, or if you're a kid, you can look at and tell your mom about. And one of you guys will win a $25 gift card to the movie theater of your choice. So leave a comment below with your ideas of something you could do on spring break with your kids that is cheap, free, or affordable, and you guys will be entered to win. I'll announce winners next week sometime. Um, and I'll announce it below in the comment section. So if you watch the video, you guys get to enter. I'm not gonna announce it below in the comment section. So thanks for watching. And now back to my ideas. Go ice skating. Got any ski slopes nearby? If you do, you can go take their tram. Typically the trams are free to ride up and down the mountain. The kids think it's super cool and you don't have to get in the snow. You don't have to go skiing or pay for any of that. Go do miniature golf or to a golf range. You also wanna check out to see what spring break programs your city center or your school has because a lot of times there are really affordable spring break programs that you just have to look for and then your kids will have something fun to do every single day during spring break. Do a Harry Potter marathon day. Watch all seven movies. You can even look on Pinterest to see how to make butterbeer, um, maybe make some DIY magic wands and make it a Harry Potter day. Have board game night or board game day and play board games all day long. Have a neighborhood barbecue or a potluck and that way you can get all the families together. Kids can play with other kids. So you're not the only one trying to entertain your kids. Sometimes it's great to give them a break and make sure they have friends to play with. Do a one night staycation somewhere. Doing a one night or two night staycation typically is not that expensive or doesn't have to be that expensive. Um, you can get a great deal on a hotel and it's a way to kind of get out without having to spend a lot of money on like a crazy vacation or destination. I would highly recommend Hotel Tonight. It's an app you can download. Um, and I believe I have a discount code for you. I think it's $25 off. The code will pop up right now. If you use that code, you get $25 off your first booking. Hotel Tonight has amazing last minute hotel deals, but that's something fun you can do as just a mini staycation, even if it's just one night. Find an inflatable bounce house park for your kids to go to. Take advantage of Ikea's free kids meal day and their daycare on a day when you're running out of patience and steam. Because if you're on spring break for a full week like we are, I might need a break day. And that could be a really good cheap way to get it. If it's warm enough, set up an outdoor or movie night in your backyard. Go do a live escape room with your family. This might not work with your younger kids or you might have to help them. Um, but you can usually find deals for these places too on places like Groupon or Living Social, so make sure you check those out. Find a play to go to. Community or city productions are usually pretty cheap, sometimes free, or you can go to a professional theater. Find a flow rider in your area and learn how to surf indoors there are discounts for these places as well so you can check their website to see if there's any in your area do a full day of service the whole day is about service get your kids involved help them brainstorm things they can do for other people big or small and make the whole day about serving other people go to the library and read or check out books find a fun craft to do online on pinterest to then head over to hobby lobby or your local craft store and use some coupons to buy all those supplies are super cheap. Get all the moms and kids together and do a cheap DIY spa day. You can do nails, hair, anything like that. On the flip side, you guys could also create a video game bracket challenge, kind of like March Madness, but with video games. Put kids all in the brackets, let them compete against each other, give everyone a participation prize, and then maybe give the winner something, a little something extra. This probably wouldn't work with your own kids by themselves, but if you had neighborhood kids and kind of did it all as a group, that would be something that would be really fun. Have a tea party. Use apple juice or hot chocolate and little fun kid-sized snacks for your tea party. And you can invite some of your kids' friends over too. Play the candy bar game. This one is super fun. If you guys do not know what that is, search it online. Basically, everyone brings candy bars. You roll dice, and if you get doubles, you get to go in the middle and grab a candy bar. Put it in a paper, a brown paper bag, and then when someone else rolls double, they can grab something from the middle or they can try to steal something from you, but they have to remember what the candy is. It's like the funnest game ever to play with your kids. So that could also be something fun you do with a group as well. Do a white elephant gift exchange with your kids and their friends. Basically all you do is go to the dollar store so you're not spending more than $1. Everyone can wrap their presents. Then you can do a white elephant gift exchange with kids in your neighborhood. Start working on anything Easter. <laughs> Crafts for Easter, Easter egg dyeing, anything like that because Easter's in a couple weeks. So you might as well get a head start on it now. 
Make cookies and take them to someone else to brighten their day. Find a natural hot springs and hike up to it and spend the day in the hot tub. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm actually gonna be sharing more of what our family's doing for spring break on my Instagram stories. So make sure you guys check those out. Anytime I find a deal or something like that, I will share it on the Instagram story. So it'll be more real time for you guys. It might give you guys some more ideas, but it also will show you guys how we find discounts and deals on things that we're planning on doing at last minute. Hope this video gave you guys some ideas for spring break. Don't forget to give it a like and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye guys.